Should I hide my identity? Wow, I'm already rolling. Hey guys, it's me again. Thank you first of all to all my subscribers for checking out and new viewers. Hello, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So Air Force BMT, uh, as you guys know, a lot of the military YouTubers out there are mostly male and everything. There's some females and everything. And what I noticed from reading other people's comments and this from my own is what they want to see is female perspective. You know, when we tend to talk, you know, the male guys of YouTubers is we tend to, you know, shut, tell our own experience and, you know, they're male from the male perspective. So I actually have someone who actually remembers BMT. But it's yeah. been five years since we've been there. Five years. So some of this could be old information. So <laughs> <laughs> she's going to talk about her, like, you know, BMT from a female perspective. And hopefully this gives insight to uh, anyone who has questions, thinking of joining and everything and all that. So BMT, pretty much you guys are the same. Like, you know, you go from zero week to zero, like, week, uh, week eight now. I think it's week... <laughs> We ate back Week when eight. I was there. Back there. We're talking about old days. Back then. Old days. Five, five years ago. Five years ago. It's, it could have changed. But hey, it, it should still be some useful information. So you had a brother flight? I had a brother flight. So they, they were all females, right? And then they had a brother flight. And your TI was? A male. Male. And my brother flight's TI is a female. Interesting. Our, we, we, I had a brother flight and we had a female TI. Yeah. Is it true about the female TIs? They, they go harder? Uh, they push, it seems like they do. They push harder. Like, you know, they they, they make it, I don't they, know. They when, yell more. When they yell, it's much scarier. And more intense. <laughs> it's very more intense. Yeah. Okay, so pretty much we had our routines as guys, like, you know, about there and everything. But I guess just break it down, like, from a female perspective. How was BMT? So back when I was, at, well, the first couple of day, days, I started, I didn't know what I can bring and shouldn't bring i didn't know that i could actually have lotion and females like, make a packing list yeah all the packing lists out there are for males yeah so you whatever it is that was on your list or that was on the male list you can add lotion lotion yes because you will need that because the air is so dry for some reason it is very, very i'll have dry. her send me the list and i'll type in the description box. yeah but keep and, going and then you can actually also get like some smell good spray nice give yes. me makeup no, you can't do makeup, but it, yeah, and you can have lip balm. Lip balm, like okay. I said, it's really, really dry. That's true. And so a lot of now, what I've heard is a lot of it is you know you can bring the stuff, but a lot of your recruiters will say don't bring anything; you'll get it all at BMT. But like she's saying, like if there's stuff like you really want, like lotion or like that stuff later on, bring it because they yes, they'll lock it away, but you'll get that back in like your last week and stuff if you want to use it later on. Yeah, just get like the small lotion that you can actually travel put packs. into your yes, the travel packs. Mm -hmm. You can actually put it on your cargo pack pocket, and it'll work. And they're not gonna say anything. I don't think it was even. I don't think. I think it's allowed. They mm -hmm. never said anything to me. When you guys did like uh, workouts and everything, like you know how like the Air Force PT exams are broken down, male and female. Mm -hmm. did, they, did your TIs push you there, or how did they push you like for to work out and stuff? Like they basically this? push us the same way it's, they pushed you guys. Equality. Yeah. Equality. <laughs> but then when you do the, like, when you do actually the P PT exams in BMT, you're still rated as, like, your age group. And yeah, your same thing group. as age group, but then it's a little bit lower lower than yours because uh, we're females. Yes. But I don't think there's not, I don't think there's ever, ever going to be any issue if we actually lift it up a little bit. When you guys did, like, uh, in, for males, when we went there, like, I think it was the like, first week we got our head shaves and everything. Do you guys get any hair? No, we don't. But I we mean, you're not going to get shaved. I don't know if they give you a trim or something. No, no. We were taught how to actually put our hairs in a bun because that was a very... So are we getting our head shaves? You, you were like, uh, that hair. was really hard. It is. Because we had to cut our socks and roll it into a bun. And that's what it's going to be. <laughs> that's why it's called the sock bun. The, the, the buns are very tight. If you're doing it correctly and by regulations, your your but like the female bun should be and tight it, and, and it can't no loose. Be, yes, and it can't be as it can't be bigger than three inches. Three inches, wow. So they, my TIs would have like a credit card and go, but what men were eating, he would just use that credit card, put it against our buns. Mm -hmm. And that's how he sized. <laughs> that's kind of creepy, like when we're eating this. Uh. Yeah, but that's how he sized it. <laughs> they sized it. Do you think? Uh, was your TI ever like, was it weird having a male TI? Would you have preferred a female TI or everything? Not, not at all. I mean, our TI is really good. I mean, he's mm -hmm. very, he was very professional. And mm -hmm. at the end of the, like when 
male, right? Yes, he was. It was a male. And then um, when we first wore blues mm. marching, and he was like a father. You look good, flight. You look good. Was he like you know when uh, we used to get mail like in the mails like after like you toward the end of the day you know toward the later weeks your anti I would like maybe talk down like you know it would be a more casual like a casual environment. I only get that when we were wearing blues. You didn't do that in, like when you guys had mail. He was just very strict and just gave you your mail and left it. Oh, the mail. Oh, yeah, RT, mail. Okay, yeah. Yeah, RTI gave us like some uh, very inspiration words. At the time. <laughs> like I don't know if that happened to you. Maybe you guys were just different. Well, we had our phone calls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you get longer than a minute? No, it's the same. Well, kind of. Yeah, of course. I mean, in between sobs and crying <laughs> and stuff like that. So hygiene, like you know, us males, we just we just brush our teeth. We don't really have to fix our hair and everything. Like any like so, perspective on hygiene. Okay, so what we do at night, especially if you want to put your hair in a braid. <laughs> but I I would admit I am part of, like kind of guilty on that one. You See, braided you know, your hair? Well, I had somebody braided my hair because I don't know you how to braid my hair. You guys have too much time. So right. basically, what we do is like, no, we don't have enough time. We get the same time as you. Do. We just stay awake longer than you do. You guys are gonna. You guys are gonna. Was it so called? Cherish what, your sleep. So what? Oh, what happens? Most of the time is when you wake up, right? So you don't have all this time to actually comb your hair and put it in a bun. So what we do is at night after we take a shower, we just do whatever we need to do with our hair uh -huh. and then put it in a bun and sleep, sleep in a bun. So it'll stay there if you did stay it correctly. There. If you did it correctly, you should stay in the bun. No, you don't move your hair. You just don't move your head. <laughs> so you pick a side, whether it's left side, back side, or right side, and you're not going to move anything. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um. Anything like hygiene wise? Like, do you guys maybe take like longer showers or anything? No, we get the same shower. Okay. It's, so, I, maybe I'll make a video about showers later. But yeah, as you can see, it's like a quick and get out there. Uh, this question was brought up a lot to me. I don't know how to answer it. Not being female. Oh man, I know. What you know, is. she knows what like times when you know what females have each once a month, right? Yeah, the period. Yep. So how like how do you guys deal with that? A lot of people just ask the question. And I think they're nervous about it. The females, uh, when they comment on the YouTube, like what do you know, you see, it's nothing. It's really nothing special when females are very, very, you know, we're such a gung ho. We can do anything. Like <laughs> actually, when when we get it, you just go through it because it's everything is such a rush. Mm -hmm. So even if like if you think about it, there's like other maybe about. 10 girls taking a shower exactly. side there's, by side there's 60 of you and again. you have your period and then at the end of the day we all get it so we just don't even think of we don't even talk about it yeah. we just make sure that they throw the stuff away the stuff away <laughs> at the right receptacles <laughs> the right yeah what i notice is I, rti brought this up to us you know when we first go bmt he says the guys usually were fragmented like you know we're all being alpha dogs like being on top like you know who's strong, like better than others but toward the end, we like form a good unity and everything. He pointed out females, they usually start a BMT. They start, you know, strong together, but toward the later on, they splinter. Is that kind of true? No, we're almost like alpha dogs too, you know. Um, when we get there, we're trying to find our... No, I'm, I swear, at least this is my experience. So at my flight, we're all trying to be like that dorm chief or something. <laughs> Yes, like we try to find our place and then when you find it, it takes a time because, you know, in every group setting, there's always going to be like clicks. that little storming mm -hmm. stage. Yep. So you kind of find your place and luckily for me, I'm one of the oldest when I went mm -hmm. to BMT. Mm -hmm. So uh, they kind of left me alone or I'm just pretty good at ignoring it. <laughs> yeah, so at the end of the, at, at the end of the course, it's actually we were, we were like sisters. We were sisters. Yes. So it's like with the... Your, like the female perspective is like from what you can gauge is there like anything they talk to you guys just specifically for females you guys did something specifically only for females because like everything appointment wise when I saw like the like other flights like who had a sister flight they went to the same appointments you know same like yeah, they have injections mm -hmm. they had to go issuing and everything I'm guessing when you guys got your clothing issue you were you separated from your brother flight no nope. we all go together we all went together even for your blues even for our wow. blues, we all went together with our butterfly. We're like, you know, two pieces in a pod. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, our TIs made sure of that. Mm -hmm. Like we're we're brothers and sister fights. 
So as you can see, it's not that much different. Like, yes, you guys might do a little thing differently. Yes, you're not allowed, like, you know, males aren't allowed to really interact with females. You're not allowed to go each, to each other's dorms and all that. But that's just common sense and everything about the thing. But as you can see, yes, we do have different standards, but it looks like the MTIs kept it, you know, kept them to that standard or uh, actually higher than that and everything. And as you can see also is from the female perspective is EMT is pretty much the same. Like, yes, it's just the only difference is because we're different. Like, you know, our bodies function differently, male and female, and, but pretty much we do all the training from the same. We have classes together. We have like those different, like, you know, where you learn how to apply first aid, where you learn how to shoot and everything. We do that all together. It's no yeah. different. Mm -hmm. So pretty much that's it. Uh, if you guys want, definitely like this video, share it. Hopefully it helps you guys, like especially the females. If you guys have comments, she said I can message her and she'll give me answers. But she doesn't want to shout out, so there's no way to contact her directly. Unless you guys want to ask and I'll ask her, maybe I can give her information. But guys, I just want to hopefully this gives you guys some clear insight into uh, BMT. You are going to be treated equally and that's one of the great things about the military, in my opinion, is it doesn't matter if you're male, female, what race you are, they're going to, because when you join, it's pretty much you're all fighting for the same cause. You're only going to be 1% of the population ever does it. So please share this video. If it's helpful, give it a like, share it to others. If you want to follow me on other social media, Instagram or Snapchat, it's Kotaro Prince. And definitely check back at my channel. I'll be making more videos. And like I said, I hope this is a useful video. Thank you.